Hello everyone, my name is Piyush and welcome back to AZ900 with Piyush. In this particular video, we will be looking into different tools that you can use to interact with Azure resources. So as always, make sure to watch the video till the end. It's gonna be a short video, but in the end, we'll be doing some knowledge checks for AZ900 certification exam. So without any further ado, let's get into it. In this video, we will summarize all the tools that we can use to interact with Azure. So you can use Azure portal by going to portal.azure.com to create and manage your Azure resources. You can also use Cloud Shell to interact with Azure, which is a browser based shell and supports Bash and PowerShell. Both of them basically have the same functionalities. It mostly depends on your familiarity with the scripting language that you want to choose. Azure portal and Cloud Shell both are browser based utilities, which means you can use these to access Azure resources from any device that has a web browser, such as a phone, a tablet, or even a computer, irrespective of their operating system. For instance, you want to provision a virtual machine using your mobile phone, and you can use either of these methods to provision your virtual machine using your mobile phone. The other CLI based tools you can use are Azure CLI and PowerShell. Azure CLI is a command line based utility that can be installed on Mac, Windows, or even Linux. And you can authenticate using AZ login commands and access the Azure resources such as Azure web app. In the same way, you can use PowerShell on Windows, Mac, or Linux to interact with Azure resources. PowerShell for Mac and Linux was introduced with PowerShell core 6.0, but now it is out of support and you should use at least PowerShell 7.2 if you want to run it on Mac or Linux. Now let's talk about Azure Arc. Well, it is a service you use to manage multi-cloud and hybrid virtual machines, Kubernetes clusters and databases as if they are running on Azure. So it basically manages your on-premises servers and resources as an Azure resource. The services that are supported by Azure Arc are physical servers, Kubernetes servers, Azure data services, SQL server and virtual machines. So anything that is running on premises out of these supported services can be managed by Azure itself and can be turned into an ARM template for infrastructure provisioning. Now the ARM template is the service we use to provision infrastructure as a code for Azure. For example, as a user, you create an ARM template, which is a JSON based a code template, which has the desired state of your infrastructure. Let's say you want to provision 50 virtual machines into Azure. So you write an Azure ARM template, provide all the details, and then you deploy this. Once you deploy the ARM template, you will get all identical 50 virtual machines created in your Azure subscription. Now, as always, Feel free to take a screenshot of this page and this page and try to answer these questions and let me know if you find any difficulty in answering those or if you want to share the answers with the community then also feel free to do that. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you in understanding the concept and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing the channel if you are new here. I will see you soon with the next video. There are only two videos left in this series and uh, make sure to watch the next video as well. And thank you so much for watching.